I am um, just very quickly. I, I wanted, well, not be if you want to opine about it. I heard on the news, and I was reading the press reports this morning about the uh, Air National Guard guy, the flyover at Fenway Park on Tuesday for the uh, o- opener uh, day uh, ceremonies. He was grounded for doing a maneuver near Fenway Park, um, and the pilot of the F-16, uh, they said, uh, under and over the other three F-16s. Um, they said it was uh, he was late joining the formation. He came in. He did a legitimate maneuver. They've, they've done this before. It's not anything that was new. But the problem is it was the ceiling was lower than normal. They were down about 1,200 feet. They should have been up over 5,000 to do this maneuver. The crowd loved it. The photographs of it are phenomenal. And the F-16 pilot is grounded. One of the spokespersons for the Air National Guard, uh, Lieutenant Colonel uh, Goudreau, said that the uh, the pilot is uh, it was legitimate. The crowd loved it. It was not planned at that time, and uh, nobody you know was in any danger or anything like that. It was just a great a great stunt, and everybody loved it. But he said the pilot's been grounded, and when I heard that, I said, okay, the pilot's been grounded, but Lieutenant Colonel Goudreau. With all due respect, in the press release and in the news report and how the news is reporting it, he's quoted as saying, the pilot was grounded not as punishment, but so that we can provide remedial training to the pilot. Well, sir, with all due respect, a pilot doing something like that, a legitimate but unplanned maneuver, Below the required limits, ceiling limits of 5,000 square feet, is grounded not for remedial training, everybody, but is grounded as punishment. That's exactly what happened to this guy. So, regardless of what, God bless you all up in the Vermont Air National Guard and UF 16 guys, he was grounded because they wanted to slap him around a little bit, saying, Excuse me, sir. You may not do things like that that are, one, unplanned, two, below limits, and three, we don't care what the thrill factor is. Do not do it. You're grounded for an indeterminate period of time. You may not fly. And when you take that away from a pilot, the ability not to be able to get up into his beloved plane, it is punishment. Good morning, Mike. How you doing this morning, Mike? Listen, you know, uh, a few of us, we, we just took a break. We just wanted to see the opening uh, ceremonies, and two of them were uh, pilots that I was talking to. And when we saw that maneuver, they both dropped their uh, jaws. But they all said the same thing. That's not something that you're late about. It's not something that uh, you tell the brass. I mean, that was definitely rehearsed. That was going to happen. That's a very tough uh, maneuver. They all, the, the pilots all knew that they were below the ceiling. And they both said, this is a pilot that he's on his way out or he's retiring. The brass didn't know about it. Yeah, he'd probably get grounded. And uh, But that you have to admit, that was the most spectacular thing I've ever, ever seen in my life. It was unbelievably beautiful to see. It really and, was. And that, that takes a lot of talent. So, hey, fine, let them have the 30-day suspension. It was worth it for the thrill and, and the show that the power of the United States on aviation. I mean, God, that was unreal. Have a good Friday there, Ed. Bye-bye. Thanks, Mike. Take it easy. I don't know. Am I glad he did it? You bet your life I am. All right? Was he going to get grounded? You bet your life he was, and he probably knew it. And as Mike said, and everybody else standing around, jaw-dropping, unbelievable, fantastic stuff to show what our men and women can do in the armed forces. This pilot is grounded as punishment, not as remedial training. Trero, good morning, John. Sir, how you doing, John? Good morning, sir. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Hey, that is the greatest thing I have seen at a baseball game and probably, well, all my, all my life. What a great opening. And, you know, as you mentioned, God bless that pilot. And the hell with the leadership there grounding the guy. <laughs> now they, they had probably, to. They probably got a call from somebody. Yeah, and, some wuss. You know, yeah. And that, it makes sense. It makes sense for the safety part of it. But this is the reason that we have pilots. Pilots flying from the seat of their pants doing stuff like that are the reason that they're the best in the world. And like you said, God bless them.